Okay, so let's look at um, a parallel circuit now and let's talk a little bit about it. So this one has one, two, three, four branches. Okay, and so the current's going to leave the source here, the battery, and travel through, and then part's going to split off and go here. Then part's going to continue on. Then another piece is going to split and part's going to continue on. Then more's going to split off and then what's remaining will travel through eventually joining together at each of those nodes until it returns to the end of the circuit. Um, let's just think about the current in each branch. Of course they'll be, we expect to have the greatest current flowing through the one with the smallest resistance and the least current flowing through the one with the greatest resistance. Also remember that we expect that the total resistance, since this is a true parallel circuit, will be less than the smallest resistor, 2.7 kilo ohms. So let's start by um, finding the total, we want to find the total current. Okay. Um, and we also want to find I1, I2, I3, and I4 in each of the branches, okay? All right, so um, to find the equivalent resistance, remember that we would do that the total resistance or the equivalent resistance would be equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4, all of that to the negative 1. So um, now when we plug in, remember we need to be in our fundamental units, not in kilo ohms. So we'll need to convert everything. So that'll be 1 divided by 2,700 plus 1 divided by 10,000 plus 1 divided by 3,300 plus 1 divided by 8,200. Uh, 8, Alright, so let's find the total resistance now. Alright, um, 1 divided by 2,700 plus 1 divided by 10,000 plus 1 divided by 3,300 plus 1 divided by 8,200. And then the inverse of that. All right. So I get uh, 1,116.9 ohms is the equivalent resistance. All right, and so we've reduced that parallel circuit now to be the, the equivalent to this circuit. With a six volt source, um, you can hear that our kitty objects to that on some level, evidently. Um, all right, so if I wanna find the total current, I can use Ohm's law. All right, if you like to use this little shortcut, um, we're looking for I, so it's V divided by R. So IT equals V divided by R. The V is 6 volts. The R is 1116.9 ohms. And that's going to give us... Um, 5 milliamps. I get 0 .00, 0 0.00537 amps. All right. And um, so IT is equal to 5.37 milliamps. All right. Now, if we want to go back and think about um, what's the current in each one of those branches, then what we need to do is um, we know, let me slide the paper, we know that the potential across each branch 
is the potential of the source, 6 volts. So here the potential difference is 6 volts, here it's 6 volts, here it's 6 volts, here it's 6 volts. And for each one of those branches I know the resistance, so I can find the current using the same rearrangement of Ohm's law. So if I say I1 is equal to V over R1, and that's going to be 6 volts divided by 2700 ohms. Right, I get 0 0.0022 0 amps. All right, and I2 then will be V1 divided by R2. Our R2 was our 10,000. Okay, so ohm resistor, I'll plug that into my calculator. So I get 6 to the times 10 to the minus 4, so I get 0 0.0006 amps. And then I3 will be 6 volts over 3,300 ohms. And it's going to be... Um, 0 0.0018 amps and then I4 oops I4 will be 6 volts divided by 8200 ohms plug that in and I get 7.32 times 10 to the negative fourth so 0, 0.00 Zero seven three two amps. All right. So now let's just um, if I've done everything correctly. All right. What I certainly hope is that the current in each one of these little branches, when I add all four of these up, that I'm going to get I total. So let's check our work that way. Okay. Um, check. So when I add them up, is it approximately um, I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4, right? So I'm going to go back to the numbers I had, so plus um, 6, hmm, to the minus 4th plus 0 0.0018 plus 0 0.0022 I get, um, you can see, 0 0.00533 so 0 0.00533 and I and my had gotten originally for IT 5.37 milliamps, so that's pretty close. It's a rounding error, and now you can see I know the current in each branch. All right, so I hope this helps. Have a good one.